I'm a business coach and I work with successful people all over the globe who are successful but stuck and I get them unstuck. And one of the things I loved about your bio on LinkedIn is it says real estate investor, entrepreneur, teacher. And so I want to kind of tap into the teacher of you for a moment. Um, where do you see as a teacher uh, people get stuck the most and how as a teacher do you get them unstuck? Okay. So the concept of a teacher, you know, all of us are teachers and we, you know, there's, there's everyone where we can learn from. Uh, you get stuck when you stop learning, right? I think that's, yeah. uh, that's the first place. If you think that you're the smartest person in the room, you're already making a huge mistake, right? There's always somebody to learn from. There's always something new to learn from or your experience is your own and doesn't represent, you know, the universe of experience. Your opinions are exactly the same. They are your own. So, you know, I love teaching uh, because that's a fantastic way for me to learn. If yeah. you think about, um, you know, most, you know, most learning is being done in a, in a settings that is, you know, either a classroom or, or a boardroom setting or things of that nature. Um, and so, you know, if you're essentially are out there and you're open to understanding the experience levels and to listen, to truly listen, how others yeah. are operating and what they're bringing to the table, then you can learn and learn a lot. Um, yeah. You know, I start my day by reading uh, various articles. I look, I zoom out just to see what's happening on a global scale and, and zoom more in to understand where we are in the environment, whether it is business or political environment, and then start zooming much more micro level. Uh, and I bring this to my work, right? I'm uh, an yeah. individual that, that spends a lot of time putting money out, investment capital out to uh, various projects, various real estate projects. And so you don't live in a vacuum, right? And you don't live in a bubble. Yeah. You have to take all those things into account. Yeah, I love that. I, I'm, I, I love that answer. <clears throat> um, I, like you, am obsessed with learning and and I learn a lot when I teach, um, and I and 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 I think I know when to be the teacher and when to be the student. And that's one of the things I love about this podcast is I get to be kind of both and more in kind of this uh, of a student. And so, just one more question on this: How do you kind of know when to be you personally know, and how do you coach others when to be the student, when to be the teacher? Well, you know, I've taken the uh, teaching concept uh, during the pandemic. I've created this amazing course called the uh, Real Estate Masterclass. And of course, I had a lot more time on my hands. We were a lot less busy uh, in the middle of 2020. And so I put together a learning system that is really, you know, I would even say, somewhat revolutionary. As I mentioned, you yeah. know, typical learning is being is done in classrooms, right? Your instructor, your professor might be somebody that's coming with absolutely zero street experience, right? Maybe all textbook, textbook learning. And that's, so you're sort of like, you know, gaining information from that. And there's a lot to be said about that. And that's pretty good. Other, yeah. you know, other places you'll have somebody who's coming with a lot of experience. But again, that experience is very unique to that particular individuals. And so that's what you're here to absorb. So what yeah. I've done is I said, I'd like to have a comprehensive course, uh, a course that brings together the experience level of all the various teachers that I can bring in my in my field, it's real estate. And so I've curated a course that had 16 chapters about real estate investments and development. And I said, who's the best that I can find to fill this one particular one class at a time in those various disciplines within the scope of commercial real estate investments, development, and so on. And so I've approached the best in class that I could find, the biggest names in the yeah. industry, the kind of people you see front page and on the Globes and, 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 and the Wall Street Journal and so on, and got yeah. them to participate and to, and to run a particular class. So whatever it was about uh, how to understand market cycles, whether it was about valuation, whether it was about how to buy the largest real estate projects in the history of real estate and sell it right in the perfect timing. So we got everybody to sit down at different areas. And so our students were able to get a fantastic view, front, yeah. front row view to some of the best in the industry 
focusing on the kind of like the areas that they excel or the strong suits. Yeah. It wasn't enough for me. You would think that that would be pretty cool, but it wasn't enough for me. And so I said, I'd like to also have practical applications. And so we've created with the recorded course, um, we've also had an additional layer, had an additional layer that has on con ongoing conversations with the very same teachers. So they would come in and visit various classes and would have conversations with students. I love that option to to run uh, questions by them but it wasn't enough still and so i've added one other layer and i said i'd like to see the practical application so if we are in a course of real estate investment and development i wish for each and every one of the students to go out on a local scale and find a development site or a building to acquire and put together an entire presentation based on all the stuff that we're learning project by project week by week uh, the individuals that were in our classrooms were gaining valuable information from best in class. We'd have the chance to ask questions either myself as an instructor uh, or some of the uh, lecturer and also apply it specifically to their region, to their area, and be able to put together a comprehensive presentation. I think that that's where a lot of teaching is being yeah. missed today. I agree. I love that. That sounds amazing. You can, where can people sign up for that class? Well, we've uh, taken a stop. We've had four courses. We've taken a little bit of a stop and right now in conversation with a major, uh, major university that uh, loved us and wants to uh, acquire it and, and uh, remorph it and make it their own. So at the moment, we're sort of like put a stop. We ran it for about two, two and a half years. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think we're about to uh, push it into the next level. So at the time being, you know, that's, that's where we are. That's great. That's exciting. You know, I, I agree with you. There's so many ways. So I'm, I'm a business coach. I work with solopreneurs to fortune companies, but I also have a platform for 20 somethings called launch three. And we have live speakers every Wednesday. I'd love to have you come speak. We have live speakers every mm -hmm. Wednesday. We do stuff, stuff, stuff on Monday, Tuesday. We do our best to really get pretty granular to, uh, to help them. So I love the way this was, this was, this was great. I, I appreciate your insight. Thank you. And Thank thanks, you. and thanks for taking the extra step to um, uh, to share. You know, it's like I think we all have a responsibility to 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 teach and to share and to provide um, great content to help others rise. So that's great. Congratulations on that.